everybody. This is Vasavi from Atmo. Today we'll do a few problems on arithmetic progressions. So before I start, let me give you some basic information like, you know, any series with common difference is known as arithmetic progression. Okay. If the difference between the two terms in a series is same, then you call it an arithmetic progression. And the next point is that to get the next term of an arithmetic progression, all you need to do is add the common difference to the last term of that series. So and so you get the next term. Similarly, to find the previous term, it is just the opposite, right? You just need to take away the common difference from the first term. Then you get the previous term. If we know the first term and the common difference, you can frame any series. Okay, I'll just give you an example like how to find the last term and the first term of a given arithmetic series. First of all, let me uh, confirm that this series is arithmetic series. Okay, so what did we, what did we say first? There should be a common difference um, between the terms, right? So let me see if the difference is common. So I told you to find the D, the common difference, all you need to do is you take two terms, subtract the first term from the second term, okay? So the second term, I take the first two terms here. So the second term minus of minus the first uh, minus 13, negative 13. So what I do is second term minus the first term I did. So that is nothing but negative 9 plus 13, right? So that will give me 4. So the common difference I see is positive 4. Let me check uh, for the next two set, okay? I have to confirm whether the progression is arithmetic, right? So now I'm going to take these two terms. So again, the second term, negative 5 is the second term, minus the previous term. Uh, so that is minus 9, right? So that is going to be minus 5 plus 9. And here again it is 4. Since the common difference is same, I can say that this is an arithmetic progression. So I know that the given series is arithmetic progression and the common difference is positive 4, right? So now, to find the next last term, to find this term, let me take it as y and the first term I take it as x, okay? So to find the y, that is the next term of the series, what did I say? To find the next term, add the common difference, right? By adding the common difference, you get the last term. So what I do is, uh, I'm going to add the common difference to the last term of the series. So that would be minus 5. Okay, my y is equal to minus 5, the negative number 5. And the common difference is 4, right? So that is plus 4. And so my next number would be negative 1. Okay, I just added the common difference to my last term and I got it as negative 1. So this would be the next term of the series is negative 1. Okay, now to find the previous term of the series, to find the previous term, what did uh, we say here? You need to subtract the common difference, right? So from the first term, the first term is negative 13. Take away the common difference. Common difference is 4. So I just took away the 4 from 9, 13. So I get negative 17, okay? Minus 17 as my first term. So my x is negative minus 17. Understood? So likewise, you can find the last term and the previous term. Okay. Now let's go on to uh, another type of problem. Here, they say, write first four terms of the AP when the first term A and the common difference D are given. Okay, here, let's do the first one. They have given you A and the common difference D, right? So it is very easy. You write the first term, that is 10, and keep adding the common difference to the first term to get the next term. So that will be 20, right? 10 plus 10 is 20. I'm just adding 10 
to each of it. The common difference I'm just adding to my terms. Okay, so the, my next number is 30. Again, add 10 will give me the fourth term. So that's 40. And we are to write the first uh, four terms. And these are they. Okay, so I wrote the first one. Let's do the second one. Here your a is negative 2. So the first term is minus 2. And the common difference is 5. So keep adding 5. So that's going to be uh, minus 2 plus 5 is 3. Right? Plus 3. Again add 5 to this. So my next number would be 8. Add 5 to this. My next number would be 13. So I got the first three, four numbers. And the rest you needn't fill in. They just ask you for the first four terms. Okay, that's fine. So next is the third problem. In the third problem, you have the common, common difference as uh, a fraction, right? So let me write the first term. So that is negative 1. Now I'm going to add half to it, okay? Half to it. So that will be minus half, right? Add half to this, you get 0. Again, add half, okay? Keep adding the common difference to the previous term. So, you get 0. Add half to it. So, that will give you positive 1 over 2, okay? So, here we got the 4 digits. Now, let's move on to the next type. Here, for the following APs, write the first term and the common difference. Okay, in the previous problem, they had given you the first term. And the common difference. Here the series has been given and you need to find the first term and common difference. Now here you need to check whether the progression is arithmetic progression. Because it is given for the following APs. So they themselves say that the series is an arithmetic progression. right? So you need to check. All you need to do is find the first term. So for the first question, your first term you can take. It is 3, right? For common difference D, you can take any two terms and subtract this first term from the second term. I am taking positive numbers so that we don't go wrong. So that will be 1 minus 3. So that is a negative 2 is the answer. So your common difference is minus 2 and your A is, your first term is positive 3. Second one, the f again, the first term is given. You can take it out from the series. It is minus 5. And now to find the common difference, you can take any two consecutive terms. Okay, always see that you take positive numbers so that you are not uh, confused or you don't go wrong in the calculation. Okay, so now you have to take away 3 from 7. Second term minus the first term. Okay. So that's going to be 4. So your common difference in this case is 4. The third one is in fraction. So be a bit careful. First term there is nothing hard. You just need to copy down the first term. This is your first term. And now to find the common difference. You can take any of these two. Uh, any of two values from these consecutive terms from this series. Okay. So let me take this one. So, I have to take away 13 over 3 minus 9 over 3. Okay. So, first term, minus, second term minus the first term. Since the uh, denominators are common, I can just write it once. And it is 13 minus 9. So, that is 4. Common difference is 4 over 3. And uh, your first term is 1 over 3. Got it? Simple, right? The next, they have given you few series and they ask which of the following series are APs. If they are, if they form an AP, find the common difference D and write three more terms, okay? It's all easy only. First term I am taking. So, I know, uh, first I need to check whether the common difference is same, right? So, you just take any two terms, at least two sets you take, okay? So, I take 4 minus 2 and my common difference I got is 2. Then I can also take 16 minus 8 and the difference is 8. 
so here the, the the d is not the same so it is not not an ap okay the first one is not an ap because you see the common difference are not same second one again let me find the d so that is going to be any two terms right so that is 5 over 2 take away 2 so again i am just this would be equal to i take this as 1 okay so i am just equating both the denominator same so that's 5 minus 4 which is 1 over 2 so your common difference is 1 of over 2 let's check with um, the other two terms okay so i take 7 over 2 minus 3 7 over 2 minus 3 So same way, make the denominator equal by multiplying by two. So that's seven minus six, which is one over uh, two, right? So here you find the common difference same. So therefore, it is an AP. Now let's do the third one. So again, you find the common difference. So that's negative three point two. Take any two consecutive terms, okay, ma? Minus of minus one point two. So that becomes negative three point two plus one point two. So that is equal to two. Now the next one, the next two set is uh, d equals minus seven point two. Take away minus five point two. Okay, so that is going to be negative seven point two plus five point two. Minus and minus becomes plus, and again this is a two here. Okay, sorry, here you have minus two. Here too you have a negative two. So that's the answer. Is an AP. Okay, now fourth one is simple. Negative ten. So let me find the d. I take away negative six minus of minus ten. So that's going to be four, right? Next one, two minus of minus two. Again, it is four. The common difference is same. So it is an ap. Okay, and the last one. so it looks little little complicated but nothing hard same way you take away first term from the second term of any two terms so i just take 3 plus root 2 take away 3 so that's a root 2 right let's find out for the next two so that's 3 plus 3 root 2 take away 3 plus Put that in brackets because you have more than one term. Three plus two root two, so that is equal to three plus three root two minus three minus two root two. Okay, I just take the negative sign inside. So this three and three will get cancelled. Three minus three is zero. So three root two minus two root two is one root two. Right. So here too, your uh, common difference seems to be same. So it is an. So that's an AP. So I hope you understood. These are the basic problems you get in arithmetic progression. If you're clear with all these little bits, maybe the more complicated problems will seem to be very easy for you. Okay. Take care. Bye.